Hello everyone. Welcome to Study Meal. My name is Aastha and our today's topic is silent hypoxia. Silent hypoxia has emerged as the new villain as the COVID-19 pandemic enters a new phase in the state. Several medical practitioners have reported a condition called silent or happy hypoxia in which patients have extremely low blood oxygen levels yet do not show signs of breathlessness. In this video we will discuss everything about it in detail so let's get started What is hypoxia Hypoxia is a condition wherein there is not enough oxygen available to the blood and blood tissues Hypoxia can either be generalized affecting the whole body or local affecting a region of the body According to the experts normal arterial oxygen is approximately 75 to 100 mm of mercury and normal pulse oximeter readings usually range from 95 to 100% values under 90% are considered low when levels fall below 90% patients could begin experiencing lethargy confusion or mental disruptions because of insufficient quantities of oxygen reaching the brain Levels below 80% can result in damage to vital organs. Now let us see what is silent hypoxia. COVID pneumonia, a serious medical condition found in severe COVID-19 patients, is preceded by silent hypoxia, a form of oxygen deprivation that is harder to detect than regular hypoxia. In silent or happy hypoxia, patients appear to be less in distress. Many COVID-19 patients despite having oxygen levels below 80% look fairly at ease and alert according to multiple reports. This phenomena has puzzled several medical practitioners. In emergency wards, doctors have reported patients having oxygen levels below 80 or 70%, in some cases even lower than 50%. Those with such low level of oxygen would ordinarily appear extremely ill, but not in silent hypoxia cases. Patients have been reported sitting up in bed talking or operating mobile phones. In many cases, COVID-19 patients with silent hypoxia did not exhibit symptoms such as shortness of breath or coughing until their oxygen level fell to acutely low levels, at which point there was a risk of acute respiratory distress and organ failure. Let us now discuss COVID-19 and silent hypoxia together. Coronavirus induced respiratory system damage occurs even in person who are not obviously symptomatic or asymptomatic but infected with coronavirus in healthy persons lipids and proteins protect the alveoli these are the tiny sacs in the lungs these lipoproteins protect the alveoli from collapsing and failing to inflate during inhalation in lungs battling covid-19 viral induced damage removes the lipid and protein protection of alveoli Alveolar cells collapse and no longer adequately oxygenate the blood of the patient. Patients with this complication rapidly further damage lung tissue by overstretching with inspiration or ventilation. This risk requires an intervention to prevent progression in silent hypoxia. Let us now discuss the possible reasons. The reason why people are left feeling breathless is not because of the fall in oxygen levels itself, but due to the rise in carbon dioxide levels that occur at the same time when lungs are not able to expel this gas efficiently this response does not appear to be kicking in some covid-19 patients this happens because in patients with covid pneumonia the virus causes air sacs to fall leading to a reduction in levels of oxygen however the lungs initially do not become stiff or heavy with fluid and remain compliant thus patients do not feel short of breath So this was all about silent hypoxia. I hope you found this video informative. If yes, please do like and share. This is Asta signing off. Thank you.